Hey everyone, this is Leisha with Cooking Without Measure. How are you on this um, cold, wet, rainy day? I'm doing good. I hope you all are doing good also. Okay, today for my weekly video, I decided I wanted to have some fish tacos, but without the shell. So I was looking up different recipes and I found one that um, was out of the shell and I said I was going to try it. But of course, I added my own little twist to it. Now, it calls for corn, which I had already made earlier this week. Um, I had made some fried corn, so I took that fried corn, um, heated it up in the pan, it's already done, and added some cumin and a little cayenne pepper, because I like my stuff a little, have a little kick to it. So that's already done. That's in the pan, heated up. Also, the, the star of this video is these fishless sticks, corn fishless sticks now i did taste one it tastes really good i was very very surprised and this is vegan as most of you already know i've gone vegan so i was looking for um some fishless sticks or fishless fish however you want to call it and corn so i said i'd try it um it was on sale at kroger um normally 4.99 was on sale for 3.49 so i got that well this recipe outside of the corn it calls for a slaw that I'm going to make. And I am using this. This is some slaw I got from Kroger. It was actually on sale for $1.49. So I was happy about that because I wanted the slaw, but I also wanted red cabbage too. Because I like red cabbage because I love colors. Like once again, if you know me, I love colors. I'm always adding carrots to something. But I wanted the red cabbage. So this came with that. And I was looking at it and said, oh, it's a sweet apple. I didn't pay attention to that. It says sweet apple, and it's a sweet apple dressing in here. I said, well, that sounds kind of good. But then when I was reading the ingredients, I found that it's made with egg yolk, so I won't be using this because I don't do any dairy. So I'm going to give the dressing part to my daughter so she can use it in something that she may like. So I'm going to make a slaw, and the slaw is really simple. It's just lime, lime juice, some salt, which I got some kosher salt. This is the kosher salt that I'll be using. Um... So cilantro. Now, I forgot the cilantro yesterday when I went to the store. So I'm using this. Don't judge me. But I'm going to use this because I have it on hand. And that's all it calls for, for the slaw. So we're going to mix that up right now. I'm just doing a little bit because it's just me. And um, the recipe also calls for um, some avocados. So I got some avocado over here. So we're just going to put this together and see how it all works out. Now I'm taking out this um, dressing and put it off to the side, but I just need the slaw. So I'm just using a little bit. And like I said, I love to see the color, so I wanted the red cabbage. I love colors. So I'm not using a full cup. I'm just making enough for my dinner for today. I take out the big pieces. You see big pieces like this? I usually see, that's all. That's all I'm making. Um, so I'm just going to take out the big pieces of slaw and, and get rid of them. It's just, I don't like those big pieces. It's just be too chunky sometimes. So I'm going to set these off to the side. So I'm right there. So I'm going to cut the lime. I already rolled the lime to get it nice and soft and get the juices flowing in it. So I'm going to cut the lime and I'm going to squeeze a little lime juice on here. Oh, let me put the cilantro in here because this cilantro... It's like you plus to add water to it and it kind of rehydrates itself. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of that, squeeze this lime in here. I'm just using half the lime. Um, I guess the recipe called for a full um lime, but I'm just gonna use half of it because I'm not making a full um, I'm not doing a full recipe, I'm just making enough for for me. If it needs some more lime, I'll add some more lime. But like I said, I added the cilantro. So the cilantro's in here, the lime is in here. I'm gonna add a little salt. And it smells really good, it smells amazing. And it's just a simple, simple, a simple dinner. Cause I just had that taste for some fish tacos. And I used to make fish tacos all the time when I was eating meat and I, um made um i use tilapia a lot of times so 
this is what the saw looked like. It don't look too different than when it was when it was raw. Except it's the lime juices on here, the cilantro, and I added a little salt. So. Mm, that tastes pretty good. Now, the, the dressing or what I'm going to put on top of the fish tacos, what I'm going to drizzle it with, it calls for a vegan mayo. Once again, some lime juice. Excuse me, I'm still chewing that piece of cabbage. Calls for some lime juice and some salt. And did I tell you I had some fresh jalapenos cut up over here? I got some fresh jalapenos that I'm going to put on there. Then I got some, um, what else I got? Oh, the avocado. I'm sorry. I got a nice avocado here. So I'm doing all this right here at this table because, um, that's where I'm at right now. So I'm just going to mix this up, the sauce that I'm going to put on here. This is like a, they call it a Baja sauce. So it's just lime juice and vegan mayo, add a little salt. I'm just thinning it out a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more lime juice to it. Let's see. Now I'll show you what it looks like. This is not really, um, like I said, I just have a taste for this. It's just like, yay. But I, like I said, I wanted to do it without any um, taco shells or anything like that. So I'm going to add a little salt. Once again, I'm using kosher salt. I mean, use the salt that you like. Um, some people like if you see salt, but I just happen to be a fan of kosher salt. True fan of kosher salt. So I'm going to taste this. This is what the sauce looks like. Something really simple. Oh my. Mm. That tastes so good. Now, all I'm getting ready to do is plate this. Because basically everything is done. I'm, a, um, I'm just going to cut the avocado now. Um, I love avocado. I used to um, eat a lot of avocado in the morning with my eggs when I was eating eggs. I just love avocado. So I'm just going to use half the avocado because I really don't need the whole thing. And I'm just going to cut it. They said cut it in cubes. I'm just going to cut it in some cubes. And I'm going to scoop it out. And I'm going to put it on the, um, on the plate. So we're going to plate it up real nice. So I got the avocado ready. So let me get the corn on the plate. Matter of fact, I'll bring the corn over here and my little fish sticks over here. Don't laugh at my fish sticks, okay? And I just didn't have time or I didn't feel like doing all the battering and doing all this other stuff and starting all this from scratch. So I wanted something quick, fast, because I'm really hungry and I'm really tired too. So let me get this corn and I'll grab the fish sticks. I'll be right back. Now the corn, like I said, I made this fried corn um, earlier this week. I just added a little cumin, a little cayenne pepper. It was already spicy enough. I don't even know why I added some more spice to it. But like I said, I like to have, I like spice. I like my food to be spicy. So I'm just putting some corn right at the bottom of the plate. I'm going to get the fish sticks as soon as I'm ready to plate them. I'm grabbing them. Now I'm going to put the slaw. And like I said, the slaw is just a simple lime juice, salt, and cilantro. That's all it is. Nothing major. No. I mean, you can make it as difficult as you want. I didn't want difficult. I just wanted something simple. I'm going to put a couple of jalapenos. I cut up some jalapenos. I'm just going to put a couple down here. Just a couple on here. Then I'm going to scoop out the avocado. It looks, you know what? This is just a simple, like I said, a simple dish. Um... Nothing major, so I'm just putting some avocado on here. 
you just want it to look I think presentation is a lot has a lot to do with what you eat and what you perceive because sometimes it could be something you thought you would never ever ever try and once you put the um plate it and you see how pretty it looks then you'd be ready to eat it so I got that on there I'm getting ready to get the fish sticks and like I said it's just some fishless sticks by corn and I happen to like corn products um their products in Gardein are like some of the best vegan products for me I don't know everybody has their own taste I don't use a whole lot of processed foods because I usually try to stick with just doing the vegetables and stuff so so far this is what how I plated it can you see that the corn is at the bottom a little of the slaw some avocado jalapeno now I'm gonna get the fish sticks and just put it on here and we're gonna give it a taste Now, I did taste the fish sticks just in case they did not taste good, but actually they tasted really good. So I'm going to put a little bit of the sauce. I'm going to drizzle it. Just a little. I like sauce. It looks make it look pretty. Okay, this is simple. Just a simple taco, fish taco without the shell. Um, I use some corn fish sticks, some jalapenos. I use the vegan mayo to make and some limes. Um, both the coleslaw and the dressing just call for lime. So I use just lime. I use some cilantro, but if you can get fresh cilantro, like I said, I forgot to get it yesterday when I was at the grocery store. So I use what I have here. And um, I used a little kosher salt in both the slaw and in the um, the dressing. And I just got a bag of coleslaw. Once again, get whatever you feel is best for you. Whoops. I'm about to spread everything all on the floor. I'm going to get a piece of avocado, some corn, and this fish stick. See, I probably would use a spoon for this because, honestly... I have a hard time sometimes keeping stuff on the fork. So this is what it looks like. Wow. It tastes really good. I just ate a jalapeno. I love jalapeno. I told you I like spicy things. That is really, really good. The avocado. It's not too firm, just right. The jalapenos give it a nice little kick. The corn, like I said, I add a little cumin and some um, cayenne pepper. Turn my little fish stick back over. But mm, that is good. It has such a good flavor. That lime juice, that fresh lime juice, there's the bomb. Mm. Oh my goodness, that is so good. Listen. That's my video for this week. Just a simple meal. I wanted a fish taco, but I didn't want the shell. I didn't even want the soft shell. So I tried it. I got these, like I said, this is the star of the meal. Corn. Fishless sticks. Actually very good. Very, very good. It basically reminded me of the fish sticks I used to eat. Um, what was that? Morton's or whatever. Morton's Fisherman. I think that's it. And the slaw. The, the sauce that I put on there was awesome. The jalapenos, the corn, everything just blends together and has a really good flavor. So let me know if you try any of these videos, any of the recipes in these videos, just put a comment down there and let me know if there's anything you want to ask me about this vegan journey. Feel free to put it down there and let me know. I'll try to answer the questions that you have. Once again, this is Leisha with Cooking Without Measure. More importantly today, be blessed and be a blessing to someone. Have a great day. Bye for now.